Hi, my name's Tom, and I'm really excited to kind of show you the next thing that was sent to me. My wife is a bird lover. She's gotten into watching birds, using binoculars, trying to identify them, and that's where this comes in. This is a smart bird feeder with a camera built in. It's got a ton of cool features. Uh, it's a nice big box. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to show you everything you get, how to put everything together. I'm going to show you anything and everything. I first want to cover a couple of the, the, the features that make this one uh, kind of a, a step above most of the others. One, it has full color night vision. So that means that at night, it's still in color. Sometimes night vision is kind of black and white. Nope, still in color. That will help you actually go ahead and identify the birds. Uh, it's got a wide viewing angle of 160 degrees. It's got two-way audio. Now, why do you need two-way audio? Because when you have squirrels or other predators at the bird feeder, you can go ahead and talk and say, hey, get away from there and scare those animals away. It's really pretty cool. Uh, it's waterproof. It's got live video, motion detection. There's an app that comes with it so you can sit there and you actually get notifications when birds are at the feeder. You don't even have to be around. You could be sitting in the other room watching the birds at your feeder through an app on your camera. You can even record video. It's really, really pretty cool. Here's a quick teaser of the video from the bird feeder. It is this amazing. Let's go ahead and open the box. So let's see everything you get. I'm going to open it up right now. First off, instructions. That sounds pretty good. Uh, there's a little mounting uh, kind of a, a template there. So when you want to mount it onto a post or a wall, we'll talk about all that. Uh, you get a little tiny micro SD card that comes with that's for the camera. Now let's go ahead and open up the actual uh, bird feeder here. Holy smokes. Okay, wow, that is some quality hard plastic. That is a, that's actually the mount for it. That's what your bird feeder is going to mount on. These are the walls. You can mount this to a wall or to a post. Um, there's a couple other ways you can actually mount it. So that's the mount. Let's see. This is the ceiling of the bird feeder, the roof of the bird feeder. Nice green. I like that. Uh, this is kind of the perch for the birds. It can hold like up to a, a pound and a half for a bird, so that's pretty good. Maybe one pound, six ounces. Ah. Now, I haven't mentioned this yet. This is solar powered. Here is the actual solar panel. So you don't need to really worry about batteries dying. It will automatically, using the sun, charge itself and keep itself going. You don't have to worry about changing batteries or recharging it every so often. It will just sit and do its own thing with this solar panel. I just wanted to show you what this thing looks like up close. The camera and the speaker are real nice. Uh, but here on top, you have a little rubber gasket that's kind of loose there. I'm going to open it up. And now I have a couple things there. I have a, uh, this is where I put my little memory card. And then this is where I'm going to charge it. And then this is the actual power button. Once you're done working with that, you can close that gasket in nice and tight. But for the moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and charge it. So here's my USB-C cord they gave me. And it's plugged into a usb charger and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to plug it right in there just click it in and now on the front of the camera see that little yellow light that means that it's actually charging so once it's charged up i'll move on to the app and actually installing the bird feeder outside while the camera is initially charging i'm going to talk a little bit about this bracket this is the bracket that you use to install the bird feeder wherever you want the feeder actually sits on top of this ring so this bracket will hold it. And again, it's a pretty heavy duty plastic uh, bracket. So it, it looks pretty good. Now, a couple ways you can do that. One, there are holes obviously in the back. So if you've got a post or a wall, you could mount it like that and have the bird feeder sitting right here. You can even mount it against siding if you wanted to. That's completely up to you. If maybe you don't have a side post, but maybe you have a flat post like this, you can actually also go ahead and screw it down like that. So it sits on top of something. And again, it comes with all the screws and brackets you need. So here's a round post. If I want to install it to that, I could actually install it like this using hose clamps. And yes, it goes ahead and comes with hose clamps. Another clever option, instead of using this great big L bracket, they actually give you a tripod mounting shoe. So what you can do with this is you actually mount this onto a tripod and then you put the feeder right on top of this. That's it. And it sits on a tripod in your lawn. You can move it anywhere you want. And just go ahead and set it up again the thing is you don't need power because you're going to be solar powered most of the time the one thing you do want to do is make sure you're near wi-fi so you want to put it reasonably close to your house but not on top of your house your wi-fi should extend depending upon your wi-fi and how your house is built a good 10 15 20 feet outside of your house in most cases where am i going to mount mine i'm going to mount mine right on this tree 
using the provided strap. So I've kind of wrapped it around once, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this strap around a couple more times, and then Velcro will go ahead and keep the whole thing nice and tight. Okay, my bird feeder is fully charged, and my bracket is mounted. Now I'm ready to put everything together. I'm going to first just kind of pull the camera down, and I'm going to turn the power on again. Close up the little uh, rubber gasket, push it forward. So here's a little antenna, that's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this onto my bracket. Okay, now I'm gonna get the solar panel and hook that up. So I'm here with my solar panel, I've got the cord, and I have a little mounting bracket for the solar panel. You have to assemble this. Now the way this is gonna work is this is gonna actually just screw right into the back of the solar panel here. And then once it's screwed in, what I'll end up doing is I'll end up probably mounting it on either the side of the fence or the side of my house. Uh, I can even go ahead and mount it on the tree if I want to go ahead and use screws into the tree. But what I'm going to do for the moment is I'm just going to kind of angle it up towards the sun and I'm probably just going to put it on the side for the moment just so that in the morning it gets a little bit of sun. But what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make sure that I get the most sun possible. So I'm just going to keep an eye on this side of the house for the next couple hours tomorrow and just kind of say, okay, where's the best spot to get the most sun? So for the moment, my solar panel is pretty much ready to go. I'm going to plug it into the back, and then I'm going to go ahead and test out the app and get the uh, camera working. I almost forgot the most important part, the bird seed. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the lever on the back of the roof, and I'm going to pour the bird seed in. Now we're ready. So here's the Vico Home camera app. Uh, it's just a camera app for all sorts of security cameras, but it's the camera that's used in the feeder. You can go ahead and add a device, and then it will kind of detect it through Bluetooth, or you can plug it in. Uh, the instructions are pretty straightforward, and it really wasn't that difficult at all. There's also an add a friend device, so you can go ahead and give a link to a friend, so they can also see your bird feeder. You will need an account for all this stuff, but the account is free, and it has a lot of neat features, as you can see. This is kind of the home screen. There's a whole bunch of different settings in here. There's notifications, there's alarms. Uh, you can kind of go through it as you can turn on things, turn off things. Uh, there's a lot of different options in here and it's actually a pretty good little camera app. Uh, it's quality, it's not some fly-by-night thing. This is a, a good company. You can also go ahead and see the events that have happened on your camera. So these are the three things today. I put some bird seed out there and then I had a little cardinal on my camera. And you go to another day, and you can see yesterday I had some squirrels on my camera. Uh, and there's are ways to scare squirrels off. You can kind of go bouncing around through the all the settings. You can even go ahead and watch videos that have happened already. And you can actually go ahead and choose them and then save them or delete them if you want. That's fine, too. There's a little bit of a cloud savings. You can also save things onto a uh, little SD card that you install in the uh, camera. It, the whole thing is actually pretty nice. It's a, it's a quality app, and it works well. There are upgrades to this. There's a premium plan you can get that will give you all sorts of extra things like uh, cloud storage space, uh, AI things for identifying the birds. You, these are all optional. You do not have to do any of these. So here we are. I moved it again. The camera is so good, I'm actually going to use it as a security camera for the front of my house for the moment. Uh, that's The notifications are fast. The video is good. I'm going to use it for that. I just want to mention real quick, uh, the bird feeder does have a light. There you go, there's the light. And what that does is that actually, uh, at nighttime, you can actually see things in color. If you have multiple animals around, you don't get a lot of birds at night, but it works just kind of as, as a security camera. You can just sort of see stuff and you just turn it on and off with the app. I'll turn it off now, there we go. Uh, that also is for full color night vision. That's actually kind of nice. Bird feeder also has an alarm, which will scare away squirrels and other animals. It will even squirrel, uh, scare away humans. It's that loud. I am going to go ahead and step over here and I'm going to turn it on real quick and then turn it off. Wow, that is uh, a little bit loud, a little bit annoying. Uh, we don't want to do that too often here in the neighborhood, but it does scare squirrels away, uh, as you'll see in a moment. And here's a little more of that video of that cardinal. Uh, he is just hanging out, having some popcorn. It, I feel so close to nature. It looks great. It's a crystal clear, it's colorful. It is a great camera and a fun bird feeder. And you can play the alarm to get rid of squirrels or other pests. Uh, I'll let you guess where I actually played the alarm here. Yep, uh, he's fine. He just scared him. And he came back one more time. I played the siren again. He did not come back after that. 
Overall, this is an amazing gift or present for yourself. If you like watching birds, if you like getting bird videos, if you need a security camera, the whole thing is actually just a, a really quality piece of equipment. Uh, I'm more than impressed with this. I highly recommend this.